How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk a little bit more about Chaz Chop Seattle. Now, that area is pretty much over with. It's done. The six-block radius that was occupied by Antifa, Black Lives Matter, General Drug Addicts, that is a wrap. Um, it was allowed to persist for about three weeks until the so-called protesters took their so-called protest to the mayor, Jenny Durkin's house. Within 24 to 48, there was an order at the desk of the police and they executed a plan to eliminate it. It took them about a half hour to 45 minutes to get it cleared on out. There was little to no resistance. That plan that action should have been taken at the very beginning of the so-called occupation rather than three weeks later, okay? Since it wasn't, you had all kind of despair, death, tragedy that took place, all right? Now, some things we can just say, all right, there was a rape, there was a robbery, there was a murder, but rarely do you get a face to the actual victims involved in a case like this, but now we do. One of the two, not one, but two young black people that died was 19-year-old Horace Lorenzo Anderson Jr. His father, Horace Sr., went on TV and spoke about his son and the pain that he's feeling. Now, this is going to be kind of hard to watch, so I'm warning you right now. We're going to go ahead and roll this clip after we get done with that. I'll talk about what Mr. Anderson said, then I'll give you my two cents, my deep detail analysis, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bowl on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Yeah, I don't even, I'm yeah. numb. I'm still numb today. I, I got to bury my son tomorrow, you know, and it's just been a lot going on. And my whole thing and my whole life is, man, this is incredible. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, I, I, still this day, I, it's been almost two weeks. I haven't heard from nobody. Has yeah. nobody called? They still ain't, ain't nobody called me or try to find me. And his ID is my ID, so his number is my number. So they can, it's easy to come for the you know, detective and say, hey, excuse me, knock on my door, excuse me, let me tell you what happened about your, son, about your son or let me, I don't know nothing. I had to find my son. They wouldn't even let me see my son that night. It took me a whole week before I can see my son. And then well, let me just say, well, okay, well, let me I, just say Mr. that Anderson, he's in hang trauma on. right what? now. You Mr. Know, Anderson. Yes. You didn't, you yes. weren't allowed to see your son for a week? Uh, please, I, I, I you, They wouldn't let me. Uh, I went to the hospital and they said that they, we couldn't see him. They just said we couldn't see him. There was, now, my, my, my you know, when I go there, I'm going there, I'm looking for a detective, somebody tell me something, something. But when I get there, there's nobody. I mean, the hospital is blank. There's. It's, it's silence. I'm going like, what's going on? It's, it, you know, so I go ask the lady and she tells me, hold on. So I wait. They, I couldn't go in. So I'm waiting for a long time. And I finally, she tells me to come in. And then she, the doctor come tells me only, only thing he tells me is my son's deceased. I'm like, well, can I see him? Is it, is it my son? Cause you got to realize, you know, at this time I'm going like, is it really my son? You know, I want to know, is it my son? Mm -hmm. You know, because this could be somebody else's child, you know. But, you know, you know, I'm, in my head, I'm going like, yeah, it's mine because everybody's seeing this. But in my heart, I'm going like, you know, I just need I, I, I need to see him for, you know, I need to see him one time. Just so just to make so I can see him. I couldn't see him that day. It took that was Saturday. It took all the way till what Thursday. I just seen him just last week. Just Thursday, and they they had to whatever they did to him and make him so they presentable whatever it was, but I need to you know I got to finally see him and I and then my you know in my heart I I knew it was, it was my son now this is my son because you know I wouldn't want nobody else's son and man this is incredible these kids and the kids that passed whatever what happened the other day you know all this on this child man this is incredible these are kids man I'm 50 years old. Man, these are, these are kids, man. They should have been stopped this a long time ago. It's starting to get, it, excuse me, but it, it's getting to a point, you know, where, you know, it's getting. Got you. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm just really. I'm so sorry, Mr. Anderson. I, I, you know, I can only say this as a dad. I, I. You want to break Sean Hannity? I, you know, I'm a pretty tough guy. That will break me. What you Somebody been that asked for this 
and they need to come talk to me and somebody need to come tell me something because I still don't know nothing. And somebody need to come to my house and knock on my door and tell me something. But, you know, I don't know nothing. All I know is my son, was, he got killed up there and he's just a, it's just, just a 19 year old. No, that's Horace Lorenzo Anderson. That's my son, you know, and I loved him. And that was my son. Oh. Not your family. Don't worry about everybody. It. Some somebody should have helped my son. He needed help. He needed paramedics. He needed he needed the police to come in. Somebody, man, you, somebody was supposed to go in there and help my son. All right. So you saw that. You heard that. Now, like I said, it's rough to watch. It really was rough. I mean, I, I felt his pain. Uh, there was like a whole half hour interview on Fox with Horace Anderson Sr. and also Andre Taylor. I know who Andre Taylor is. I know about his past and stuff, but I'll leave it alone for this video. But just so you know, I know who that is. Anyway, if you want to see that full clip, I'll link to it in the box. But we got to speak about what he said in this clip, the emotional plea that he gave. I think this is what you see a lot in the black community. And unfortunately, many of their cries, many of our cries, go unheard. When I talk about my uncle, you know, being 30, what, five? Like my age right now, when he died from HIV AIDS because, you know, he was on drugs, selling drugs. When I talk about not wanting drugs, being in the community, being against drugs, people don't really understand why I would say that. When I say, let's not have a drug infested environment or a dangerous environment or something like that, all in the name of inclusion or equality, people don't really understand. But see, once you actually see the damage that it does, like Mr. Anderson unfortunately had to see firsthand, like I've seen throughout my life firsthand, many of my friends and family have seen throughout their life firsthand, then you really get to understand what's going on, okay? This old Chaz Chop thing, like Mr. Anderson said, should have been shut down from the very beginning. You're talking about kids, all right? His son was 19 year old. Yes, he is an adult. He is a man at that age, but how old is he really? You're talking about what, like freshman, uh, sophomore in college, if he was in school, you know, then you had a 16 year old that got shot and killed. That's a boy. You're talking about high school, 11th grade, 12th grade, 10th grade. Now, I have no idea why Mr. Anderson's son was there in the zone. I don't know if they lived close by. I don't know what was going on, what caused it to happen. But I know one thing, if this zone did not exist, then he wouldn't have gotten shot. Also, if the police were allowed to come into the zone, maybe his son could have survived because people get shot and still survive. I know guys that have been shot and didn't die. You get shot, you go to the hospital, you get treated, you get surgery or whatever, and maybe you live. But see, when the shooting happens, since you're in this so-called autonomous zone, and he was, I guess, inside the zone, the police were physically prevented from coming in, all right? They responded to the place, although they say no cops allowed, but the police were met with a human chain of people preventing them from being able to gain entry. Okay. And you had the people that were in the place taking guys to the hospital. But what are you doing along the way? All right. Time is of the essence here. Okay. You don't know how long you really have to actually live when you've been shot and you're bleeding. He could have been saved, but unfortunately he was not. And I think the police being bar entry, the EMTs being bar injury, that had a lot to do with it. Even when the people inside of Chad Shop, whatever you want to call it, brought those that had been shot to the hospital, the police were barred from going inside of the hospital because you had armed so-called protesters, really rioters, insurrectionists right there outside the zone. Now, Mr. Anderson, he understands the importance of you know, peaceful protest, and he understands the message. He understands Black Lives Matter. But what are we really doing when we go from peaceful protest, which is your a right as an American citizen, okay, under the First Amendment, freedom of speech, that's your right. But what are we doing when we go from peaceful protest, which is your right, to insurrection, to violent insurrection, to have a place that is totally lawless, devoid of police, devoid of actual help, where people that decide they want to become the security or they want to become the so-called police, they go in there and do whatever they want to do. All right. I don't know, like I said, why the young man was in the zone and I don't really know who shot him. Um, from what I've been reading, they said that it was somebody in the black SUV that hopped out with a rifle. 
that could be true, could be false, I don't know. But what I do know is that the police were not allowed to go in. The EMTs were being barred from going in. It was a guy that was filming himself talking about, are oh, you a coward? You don't want to go in, speaking to the EMTs. But it's like, what you want them to do? Go through the crowd? That's what he did say, the guy that was recording. You should go through that crowd and get that man. It's like, well, look, we're trying to save a life. We're not trying to endanger our own lives. So we can't just go and do whatever we want to do. So when you have something that happens, where you need an ambulance to come, you're not just gonna have the ambulance show up. Like if it's a shooting, the ambulance won't be by itself. The police will come as well to make sure everything's okay, to secure the zone, because you could be in an active gun battle. You don't even know it. You go there trying to rescue somebody, but it could still be active shooters around. The police gotta to come to secure the area. When you are preventing that from happening, you're preventing this person from being able to get the help that they need to survive so all this stuff all these you know so-called peaceful people occupied protests you got to stop they're coming up occupied protests all over the country they're, ta they're starting one right now in new york city um i'm seeing one in different places they should be smashed immediately okay you have the right to peacefully protest that is your first amendment right you're guaranteed the right to assemble peacefully however when it goes into just unbridled, open air drug markets, people getting raped, robbed, beating their head, you know, deprived of their rights, then we're doing something totally different. Allow the law of the land to take place. Allow society to operate normally. Don't interrupt it because you feel like it's the right thing to do, when in reality, you're just taking away others' rights. Unfortunately, since this advice I'm giving to you right now was not heeded by the so-called protesters. You have two lives that were taken and other lives that never be the same. People that have been raped, assaulted, never be the same again. I think we should listen to the words of Mr. Anderson, the 19 year old's father who is now deceased. I think we should listen to his words and respect protests, but not enable lawlessness. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that I'm correct with what I'm saying here about how, you know, lawlessness, that should never be tolerated. Peaceful protests. Okay, that's your right. And that's your viewpoint. Let me know why in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel about what Mr. Anderson said about his son and about the whole situation? You know, could you feel where he was coming from? Do you understand why I say now that the, the police violence and the white on black, that's not even really the real issue? OK, I've seen people crying all the time. I've been to so many funerals. I can't I've been to a lot of funerals. I know a lot of guys that's dead and you see the same kind of pattern happen over and over again. And nobody really cares outside of just the people that know them, the people that love them. Nobody really cares. There's no real media attention to just, you know, violence in the areas where we live in the black community. Do you understand where people like myself are coming from when we say that now? OK, did you understand before? My whole point to even saying anything about this is to highlight those that don't get highlighted, to highlight those that aren't killed by a white cop and police brutality and stuff like that. That seems to be all of what mainstream media care about, all of what the so-called, you know, uh, Black Lives Matter anti that's all they really care about. They don't really care about the general everyday violence that we got to deal with in the black community. They don't really care about that at all. But these people are people. They have friends, they have family, they are somebody. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.